welcome to Around the World with Martin. So today I'll be focusing on the ingenuity of the African child. All over Africa, the ingenuity of the African child, um, if you ask me, has not been recognized. And every day we are seeing children doing marvelous things, coming up with inventions that are largely unrecognized or largely unrewarded. And so today, um, around the world, I will be bringing to you an interaction I had with a young man that I discovered on the social media. I came across an interview or a promotional interview that um, he had with one of Nigeria's popular comedian, uh, Mamu Kamaka. Are you planning on building the one that will not use fuel? Yes, yes, that one is sure. Let's help any, this I boy now. Any, any support I get, any help I can get, this one is just a small. I'm planning to build the one that does not use fuel, the fuelless car. I want so, Tinibu fuel subsidy now, no go get our problem. That's my next plan, but because no money, uh, I decided to keep quiet for now and start continue uh, practicing it in my mind. Uh, this young man, I wouldn't call um, his exploit an invention, but I'll call it creativity in an extraordinary way. Because this young man recreated a Mercedes G Wagon with locally sourced material, constructing, reconstructing the body from the scratch, doing all the welding work from external to internal, and improvising the engine to propel this vehicle with a tricycle engine. What an ingenuity. His name is Godde Eze. He's a 20-year-old boy and a high school graduate. So um, I was able to get in touch with him after watching that video with uh, Mamo Kamaka. And um, the following were uh, some of the outcome of that interaction. I would like you to watch and I'll come back to give you my opinion. Please stay. So how old are you? I'm uh, I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Yes. So can the, you tell the man that do interview maybe he, he made a mistake and he wrote 17. Okay. It was an error. Okay. So yes. um can you tell us about um, your car? How did it start? Okay. Uh, this this is a, is a gift from God. So I started this doing this kind of work since when I'm uh, I'm small. So I started doing small contributing con contributing small small things to make form a good things. So, but I promised my father that I must produce, I must judge a driving car. Uh, and I thank God uh, I come up with this. And, uh, how long did it take you to, to build the car? It took me three years to build this car because I didn't get any sponsor. Nobody sponsored me to continue my work. Nobody helped me. Uh, it's only the help of my father. And my father is a pan wine tapper. So that is, and uh, we continue going on. That is why it takes me three years. And I'm the only one that do everything. How much did you spend? Okay, because, because this is my first project. Uh, I waste a lot of material on this. I waste a lot of material on this which i the one i calculated the one i wrote out yeah I, after the after the work then i calculate the amount and i see uh on 1.8 million that 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 one is the one i wrote but the one i didn't i forgot to write up that one i didn't put that one in mm. 1.8 million naira Yes, 1.8 million naira. So how did you source the materials? So how did I? How did you how did you get the materials you used? How did you source okay. it? Okay, 
yes i any material i i need i continue finding it anywhere i i go anywhere even to find the material anyone so even uh on nature in in any state here yeah, i go there just to find some materials to complete up my work okay so did you learn um for instance did you learn welding work before okay like i said before is is a gift from god this i didn't learn anything i didn't learn anything but i can do all i do all myself by myself because it's a gift even me i can't explain like god is too much uh, God is too much because all those things before I start to do, before if I once I think to do this kind of things, before within like within five minutes, like five to four ideas have already come inside my mind, and I will continue my work. That is, I praise my Lord because it's always good all the time. Perfect. So um I will ask you to take us around the car. I would like to see what the car looks like. Um, okay. Yes. This is the car now. This is the interior. Yeah. Yeah. This is the wow. car. Yeah. So this you did uh, the opal street work as well? Yes. I did the upholstery work, the mechanical work, the wedding work, the everything by myself. Ah. Yes. And this is the back of the car. Yeah. This is amazing. Thank you. It's just the, the tire, but that is because of the money where I know get. So the tire I put inside the car is a small tire. And what size tire of tire did like, you use? Is a, a 14, 14. 14 rim. Yeah, it's small. So sometimes if this pass through the sand, it's very hard for the thing to pass on top of sand. But I continue managing it. Mm. This is it. This is the top. So impressive. This is the front. So what do you call um what's the name of the car? Okay, yeah, I call this my car. I call it G Wagon. G Wagon. Because it's a yes, yeah, G Wagon. Because it resembles Jiwago. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the, the bonnet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what engine did you use? Did you... Uh, I use I used the cycle engine. So the engine also is small because of that money I'm talking about. I use this one to also manage it. That's a double stroke engine. Yeah. That's two stroke engine, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? Is that a two yes, stroke yes, engine? Yes. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. You know the capacity this, of the engine. On the fan so that you can. Okay. What What will help you to to grow? What What do you want? What kind of support do you need right now? Okay, uh, I would like to go further to know more about how to build a car uh, or like to study an automobile engineering. Yeah. And also as well, this is my car you are seeing here. Uh, it took me a lot of money to complete. And I even borrowed some loans, big loans. You know that just to complete this my work. Yes. I, I I think that if if uh, once I borrow the money, I will 
make the money through many through help like once i post the video many people will support me and uh, so that i can complete the loan but up to now the video is going viral but nobody yet to support me with financial assistance also mm. but that one uh that, no problem i continue praying so that god will do everything mm. So you would like to uh, study uh, automobile engineering or mechatronics in the university, right? Yes, yes. So um, have you completed your secondary education? Yes. When was that? I completed my secondary education uh, last year. That's uh, 2022? Yes. What's the name of your school? Uh, it's a Holy Ghost College, Bamudu. That's a Catholic school? Yes, Catholic school. Okay. Uh, did you I make... wrote my wire because... You wrote your wire? SS3 is not... Yeah, so, yes, I wrote my wire on uh, Ubaike Technica. Ubaike Technica Ubaike school Technica. because... Yes, that is where I wrote my wife. Okay, wife. the school is not yet approved for uh, senior secondary. Okay. Yes. Now, um, did you make your papers if you were to gain an admission in, in the university? Do you have a uh, prerequisite to gain admission to study engineering? Like, yes, yes. It's my wife, right? Okay. Can you send me um, a copy of your WIAC result? Yes, that is why I said I will, I will go and print soon. Very soon. Okay. Um, if you have the key now, can you turn on the car? I want to see uh, yes. what it looks like. Okay. So you probably have to flip the camera again. Mm. So this is the key point. So I have to once you put the key, then <laughs> this one is the brake light, but if it's not showing sure, itself, this is the brake light. So let me on the. Can hear the sound. If you have someone around you, you can give the phone to the person to hold for you. Huh? So okay. that while you're operating the vehicle, he can be recording. <laughs> That's a good one. So can you can you drive can you drive the car? I have to see you move it. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah, thank you. I will join well-meaning individuals to call for support to see how we thank can you. encourage you to grow. Um, thank you. Don't sir. don't lose hope. Nothing nothing good uh, comes easy. Thank you. So you true. should you should not lose hope in any way. Um, by the special grace of God, I believe that um, the sky will 
be your beginning um, as far as your exploit is concerned. Okay? Thank you. Yes. So I wish you all the best. And may God bless you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on that interaction? Now, here's a young boy with such a gift. He's so talented that all we need is a little push to get him to where he should be. In other crimes, corporations, organizations would have been all over the place trying to grab this boy to bring the best out of him. In developed societies, universities will be all, all over the place trying to get this guy into their institution to bring out the best in him. But that has not been the case with this young man. I'm not trying to be sexist here, but the truth of the matter is that if this young man were to be a young girl of the same age, trust me, Nigerian politicians would have been all over the place trying to identify with her. And my question is, where is the Enugu state government? Where is the Ministry of Education, both at the state and at the federal level? Where is the Ministry of Science and Technology? Where is the Ministry of Youth? So this is just one of the cases. There are so many God days across Nigeria. But unfortunately, it's the same story every day. Now, if our politicians are not paying attention to what's happening all over the world, look at what just happened a couple of days in Niger Republic. If you guys are not paying attention to what's happening, that there's a tsunami coming because the people are not willing to take back their governments, then I'm sorry for you. Now, what happens at the end of the day, if this young man is not harvested at this point, and God forbid, he turns out or he turns his creativity into negative energy. The next thing is you begin to hear, oh, he's a Yahoo Yahoo boy. How do you expect such a person to survive? Raising the amount of money he did to put together this vehicle. You heard him. It's not me talking about it. And nobody has come to assist. So this is a call to action. Universities across Nigeria, universities all over the world, if you're able to grab this young man, trust me, you'll be serving humanity. This young man should be encouraged to get into the university or college to study either mechanical engineering or mechatronics. So should any of you, be it an institution, organization, an individual, be interested in helping out this young man, reach out to us and we'll be able to link you up with him. Um, just do an email or follow the link um, uh, that I have scrolled throughout the duration of this um, episode and reach out to us and we'll be able to link you up with God Day. But once again, I appeal to government of the day and indeed government across Africa to wake up. The people are coming. And so the next time I'll continue um, from now on to pay attention to young Africans all over the continent who are intelligent and requiring exposure. And I'll see you again.
offload me from where you will build me. All right. <laughs> You don't play music? Yes. yes. I have put music now. Now I'm going to go to the party. Put the music. I have enter. Enter and put the music.